I was driving uh, home today and I just had this realization I wanted to share. So I got a friend who um, lives close by, drove past his place, and I'm thinking like, man, why hasn't he hit me up? I want him to hit me up because I want to plug him into certain things that I think will be good for him. So activities like uh, sweat lodge and social things and just um, basically he's on a path of healing and self enlightenment and development. And I, I am too, and I have resources for him and I am hoping that he will reach out to me. So I've been hoping this all week and sort of waiting for it to happen and it hasn't. And then um, I'm thinking as above, so below, right? So what it means is like, let's say in this context, it's like a metaphor for the relationship between a guide, uh, like a spirit guide and their person. So just saw an amazing tan squirrel. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Wow. So uh, let's say I've got a spirit guide, right? My spirit guide's waiting to hear from me. It has these resources for me and it's like, hey, I just want to help you, man, but I'm waiting for you to ask me for the help. And then I had some insights about why that is based on my own feelings of being in the situation. <laughs> so I want him to ask me because I want him to choose it. You know, I want him to choose these things. I don't want to be pushing him towards these things. It's kind of meaningless. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink kind of thing. So the assistance without being asked is less potent and if at all. So that's one thing. Another consideration is that it's easier for me to respond to an energy rather than initiate something on my own for someone else's benefit. It's sort of like draining rather than fulfilling, right? So I might do it just because I have compassion and some sort of higher view of the situation that this person doesn't have that for themselves. Uh, not that I'm like trying to put myself above them or anything, but I just have like a bird's eye view of their life. No one can see themselves from outside themselves except very uh, special circumstances. So, and it's also very rare, but someone like a guide is in a position to see me uh, with a bird's eye view and a totally unique perspective that can give me a lot of higher guidance. So that's what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I just had this little epiphany about my role and then also about my guides roles and like what's good for them, like why, why they would not want to just volunteer everything all the time because it's important that I want it. So I'm actually going to make use of it and cherish it properly and also create the invitation that allows them to be fulfilled by their purpose of wanting to do that thing for me and not having to feel like they're forcing it on me or anything like that uh, for my own good, all these circumstances. So um, reach out to your people. Uh, and if you feel so inclined, I'm not trying to tell anyone what to do, but I guess for me, the lesson is also to ask my guides <laughs> for the things that I want in life because they're waiting to give it. <laughs>